morning welcome back to my channel it's your girl Bridget Hekpo thank God it's Friday oh the weather is changing slightly um yeah but um, in all things we give thanks I'm on my way to work this beautiful Friday morning and um, I decided to do this video um, to talk about hair black women's hair why is black women's hair so political I come I mean from a background where women make their hair that is just how it is right from when I was a kid I grew up seeing my mom making her hair and in those days when I was a child I mean people used to women used to make their hair differently they will put what they call attachments to make their hair and they will put um, it's, a, it's a form of extension just to make it a bit longer and you know they do the weave or they do the what they call it they use the, the one that's one that they use thread they use the thread to do it and all sorts of cornrow and whatever you call it in those days that women used to do but times have moved on since then and you know other forms of extensions have come up that we black women use the thing I love about black women's hair is that our hair is so versatile we can do so many things to it like the other day i cut my hair and it was completely completely bored and i know a lot of you loved it but like i said my husband didn't like it so i went back to wearing my wigs my hair is still very low i can still wear it if i want to but you know i'm not it's not um it's not something that i is so important that i focus too much on about hair but incidentally from time to time I see people sorry it's a bit dark now because I'm in the tunnel so yeah black women's hair is so is versatile we can do so many things with it if you choose to wear it natural you can wear it natural if you choose to do your curl roll you can do your curl roll if you choose to add your extensions you can add your extensions and if you choose to wear wigs in my own case which is something that I, I prefer just because it's more flexible it's easy I can switch my look I can change it as much as I like I just do wigs so I have like maybe 15 wigs different set of wigs that I wear and, and I like it but from time to time I have people especially men and women coming to my channel and saying oh why do you black women like wearing uh, fake hair why do they like wearing fake hair black women are the only women that wear other people's hair they are the only ones that wear uh, wigs they are the only ones actually you, you are you're wrong you're wrong and you know what that's our opinion people are entitled to their opinion but you know what Another thing that people need to realize is that as adults, we have a choice. We have the freedom and the right to choose how we want to dress, how we want to look, and the image we want to portray. If I choose to wear wigs, that is my choice. At my age, I am old enough to decide on what I want for myself, how I want to dress myself. It is not you, a man out there, or you, a woman out there that will come, to, come here and start saying, why are you wearing wigs? Is a sign of inferiority complex. It's a sign of low self-esteem. Do I look like someone that has inferiority complex? Or do I look like someone that has a, a low self-esteem? It's like wearing trousers um, Those in those days. All these uh, deeper life church and some, you know, extreme, I call them extreme uh, Pentecostal churches in Africa that say trousers is male dressing. And the Bible is against it. So women shouldn't wear trousers. And so when they see their members or people who are their family members wear trousers, they will be attacking them and saying, why are you wearing trousers? This is male dressing. The Bible condemns it. Do you know what? You guys need to chill and just do you. Everybody should do theirs. I don't feel it's such a big deal what I choose to do with my hair. It's my hair. It's my head. It's my money. And if I go on and I decide to go and buy extensions to put on my hair, it's nobody's business right so i cut my hair the other day and it was so much topic of discussion a lot of people like it some people still didn't like it and say why do you cut your hair you look like a man but you know what at the end of the day the decision is mine and i feel like most of us ladies we dress because we want to look good and we want to look good for our partners or our husbands or boyfriends or whatever because at the end of the day you want to look good that is those who cares about their appearance anyway so my husband was not happy about it and I decided to start wearing my wigs again because at the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned, it's his opinion that counts. Every other opinion can sit can sit on the ground or sit on the floor. <laughs> I know send. 
you know then you have those who are politicizing the whole thing and saying that oh it's a sign of uh, we don't have confidence in our hair it's a sign of uh, we don't we feel that white people say it's it's, uh, it's more superior to uh, come on guys come on some people here uh, i feel like some people just all their life they want to fight one battle are, are you not tired aren't you tired of fighting of, of of battling one thing or the other so it's hair that is your mission now you want to go and start fighting actually my hair is not white people's hair. If you want, if you choose to know, let me tell you. Yeah, my hair is not white people's hair. It's Asian. It's Asian's hair. Yeah, I buy it with my money, and as soon as I buy it with my money, it becomes mine, and I put it out. And, and you know, you that or some of you that are saying that oh, it's a little like black people that uh, black women that wear hair. That's a that's a lie. All culture, all even white women wear wigs. They wear weave. They call it weave. They are extensions, or they call it extension. They attach it to give their hair volume, to give their hair length, to make it longer. All the celebrities that you guys see, that their hair is so glossy and full and falling all over. Their, you think it's their natural hair? Some of them use what they call, um, you know, weave or extension. They attach it to their hair to make it longer, to give it volume. And then some of you will say, oh, but it's the same texture with your hair. You guys are wearing the one that is not the same texture with your So bloody what? What is wrong with that if I if I choose to change the texture? It, your natural hair that you wear, when you put extend, uh, when you put relaxer, which is what we used to do um, in those days, I don't know whether people still uh, put texturizer or what's it called? If people still put chemicals in their hair, that one is even more dangerous, let me tell you. When you put uh, relaxers in your hair, it stretches it and it becomes, you know, silky like that. And the reason why people used to put those uh, chemicals on their hair is because they want to make it stretch. They want to make it longer or they want to be able to style it different. Whatever reason that you have, at the end of the day, is your head, is your hair, it's your choice, whatever you do. But what I, I seriously, you know, disagree with about this whole subject of black people, uh, black women's hair is those people who choose, those, those women especially, and men, women who choose to wear their hair naturally, they don't texturize it, they don't put relaxers on it, it's in its natural state. So lately, it's like a movement now that, uh, okay, natural hair, black hair, proud, whatever, this, that, you know what? And some, some of them will come and be saying, oh, uh, there's stigma about black women's hair. Uh, we are doing this to fight against stigma that we should be proud of her. Who is stigmatizing you? Who is stigmatizing you? I feel like some people just fight battles that don't exist. Honestly, I mean, they do. They just fight battles that do not exist. I've never seen anybody come. Even when I was wearing my body, I wore it to work. Some of my black colleagues were even saying, Bridget, you are so confident. I've cut my hair. I can't wear my hair out like this. I leave it at home like that. There's nobody stigmatizing you about your hair. Whatever hair you, 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 you choose to wear, it's your choice. The hair that I know that a lot of people ask questions about a lot is um, mixed race children. Or people who are from mixed race background white and black background they are coily hair that is so full and thick that's the one i know that a lot of people ask questions about even if they ask questions about your natural hair or your extension what so what it might just be out of curiosity personally i don't know i don't feel that there's any stigma against against uh natural hair for black women i don't feel there's any stigma at all and some of you eh, that wear those natural hair eh, not all I see some of them that are very, very tidy and very neat. But some of you just need to go and get a weave. Honestly, you need to. Because your hair is so untidy, it doesn't look good. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Because I understand from people who do this natural hair that it takes a lot of effort. You need to condition it. You need to go and tidy the roots and everything. But some people say they are naturalistic movements. <laughs> they are natural hair movement. Oh my God. You should see their hair. The roots are so untidy. The hair is looking very unkept. And I'm wondering, really? Really? You really want to look like this you really want to look like this and some of you mm -hmm. some of you ladies out there that are doing a political statement with your hair that you want to be fighting whatever stigma that does not exist as far as i'm concerned if you say it exists mm -hmm. maybe it exists to you but i personally i'm not aware of it i don't know if you go and start wearing all those kind of hair you never change your hair it's the same hair when your husband start cheating now you'll be crying up and down be doing doing uh, 40 days uh, and 40 nights fasting because you don't change your look you look the same way let me tell you something it's unfortunate that i'm doing this uh, this uh, vlog in a car i'm in a cab 
if I was at home, I'll bring out all my on my I'll bring out some of my weave and start switching them so so that you guys can see, you know, how I look different for every hair that you change, it gives you a new you are like a new woman, you are like a new person. And you look appealing to your husband or to your boyfriend. But if you keep wearing the same hair year in, year out, it's the same braid that you wear. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you look different. Or maybe that's what he likes or that's what you like. It's your choice, like I said. But me, I like to change my looks. I like to look different. And if I if I choose to look different, I don't feel it's right for you to come and tell me, uh, uh, why am I wearing uh, extension or why am I wearing weave? Is it your head? Is it your weave? Is it not my money that I used to buy? What is your problem? Eh? Shock buy Lord shock by please i'm sick of it honestly all of you that always come in here to tell me why am i wearing weave or why a black women wearing weave that is wrong is wrong why are white white women going to tan you white women go to the tanning do you know how dangerous tan, tanning tanning salons are those things can cause cancer it, it can cause skin cancer but you see white women going to 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 the tanning salons to go and tan their skin to make it a bit darker i don't see anybody making a fuss about it i don't see their men discriminating it even some men do it they put fake tan to make their skin darker. It's all about choice. I don't see anybody discriminating and abusing them. That, why are you going to those dangerous salons to go and tan your skin? Or why are you uh, putting tanning uh, cream on your on your body? Or why are you going to, to, to go and sit in those dangerous uh, uh, machines that will make your skin a bit darker? Why are wh black, uh, white women tanning their skin? Is to make it a bit darker. But we don't see anybody discriminating against us. We don't see anybody shouting. It's only black people. They always have everything to say about fellow black black people. What is your problem? Eh? Can't see it. Shock by eh? Mind your own business, please. Mind your own business. Let people do whatever they want to do. If you want to be naturalistic, wear your hair, you know, fine. If somebody else chooses not to wear their hair, fine. All I'm saying, let's respect one another's choice. Because we are all adults. At the end of the day, everybody has got the right to wear whatever they want to wear. You can't go, go around telling people and you take it as a campaign. That's your own charity. Your charity is to go around YouTube and be abusing people and be telling people why should they wear weave. What is your problem? Is it your money they used to buy it? Are you their husband? Eh? And you women that are, do, that are doing it, you better stop it. It's, all I'm saying is that let's respect one another's choices and individuality, individuality. When it comes to the way we appear, the way we look, at the end of the day, you're not dressing. I'm not dressing, you know, for the whole world to approve because you can never please the whole world, you know. Uh, Bill Cosby, is it Bill Cosby that said it? Um, behind that um, blue van is okay. This blue car. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good and lovely day. Thank you. Yeah. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, this is natural hair. <laughs> this is natural hair. Is this natural hair? Look at that beard. Oh my God. That's the cabman that brought me. I'm do I'm vlogging in the sky. He says he's been driving. How long have you been driving? I've uh, been driving for seven, eight years. And nobody has ever done a video in your car before. No, no, that's the first. And it's from Afghanistan. You Afghanistan, said. Afghanistan. He yeah. likes to run to Afghanistan when it's when it's cold in the UK. He was telling me. Then he will come back when he when he's uh, when is warm he only comes here to make money i like that having a good day all right bye so the question of the uh, natural hair or no natural hair there's no hair that is fake at the end of the day bottom line people have always worn extensions even the uh, what do you call it the braids that you do for those of you who favor wearing braids you don't use your natural hair to do braids alone you are you add extensions to it but i don't see anybody going around castigating people who wear braids and saying why are you wearing braids braids is not good for you uh, braid is this braid is that i don't see anybody doing that i don't see anybody castigating you when you do braids when you do million braids it's not your natural hair that used to do it you buy the weave that you used to do. You buy the extension that you used to do. But nobody abuses you for doing that. So why should you come and start telling me uh, what to do or what to wear at my age? I'm old enough to know what is good for myself. So all I will say to end this vlog, I don't want it to be too long. Do you, please, do you, let me do me, okay? Do you, if you choose to wear your hair natural, good for you. Me? If I decide tomorrow I'm going to do my body again, I will remove my wig, I will do it. If I want to wear a wig, I will wear a wig. If I want to wear a wig, I will wear a wig. My head, my hair, my money, my choice. So it's all about choice. And it's all about individuals. So, 
that's all I have to say about it. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely, lovely weekend. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you all later. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.